I've been here uh, 15 years full time and then I was working part time as an adjunct for a year before that. I was working out in the field uh, full time at one of the medical facilities, local medical facilities. So I worked during the day and then I came here and taught once or twice a week in the evenings. Health information technology is the lifeblood of a medical facility. It is the piece that everything goes to. So think of it as your patient information, your medical information. So we have the physicians needing it. We have the nurses needing it. We have radiography needing it. We have physical therapy needing it. We have EMTs needing it. We are the compliance people behind the scenes. We edit and look at it. We determine and make sure that all the parts and the pieces are there so that it now has become a legal document. I don't really think anyone really knows it all, truthfully, even in, in any particular field, because we're learning every day new things. In this field particularly, it can change from week to week. Uh, the technology will change, the uh, way that we uh, do billing, the way that we code medical information. So we teach our students here, especially in our programs, to make sure data quality is job number one. So the information that we enter or that we store within a system now, we want to be able to retrieve easily. We want to be able to retrieve it for statistical purposes, uh, reporting purposes, uh, reimbursement purposes for healthcare, which is a large part of it. So we have to make sure that the students get a very good and thorough background on how to do these particular skills. Had a very good experience with Pensacola State. The rewards are, for me, the teaching side. The rewards are seeing my students when I go out in the field and they are out there working and they are doing good and excelling.